so I have a problem. Um, I want to read the Harry Potter books. And I hate them. So today is December 12th of 2020. And I just finished re-watching all of the Harry Potter movies, which I did rank them all on my Instagram page. Um, and I don't want to let go of it. I love the movies so, so much. And finishing the movies makes me want to read the books. Um, but... I haven't liked them when I originally read them, but I read, okay, I've read the first book three times, all because of school, and I've read the third book once. Second book? Skipped it. Um, because the third movie is my favorite movie. Uh, so I did that. Um, back, I read the third book in fifth grade, and I read the first mm -hmm. book for the th third time in seventh grade, right? And I still didn't like it. Well, I finished the movies, and I don't want to let go of the world, and plus, I've heard that Harry and Ginny's relationship is better in the books. And I kind of want to see it progress, instead of just like, don't even talk to you, Jen, and now we got three kids. Uh, it doesn't really work that way, does it? So, yeah. If you're seeing this, it means that I read every Harry Potter book, so, hi. And if you're not seeing this, then, well, you're not seeing this. So, yes. In January, we'll see how I feel, because I might end up reading one book a month off of there. But I don't know. I just, I just don't know what I'm going to do. Because if I'm, if I'm still craving to read them in January, then I'll pick the first book up. And I'll see if I don't like it. <laughs> so, I read the first book, as you can see, right here, back in August of 2018. August, oh, no, April. Dude, I thought that was August. No, it was April 20th, 2018 is when I finished it. First time I read this, I gave it two stars. Now I give it one. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, um, and the third book I do have marked as red, and I gave it two stars. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's see if this video goes up, and if it does, let's see if I enjoy the books or not. Maybe I'll just shove myself through all these books and end up giving them all low ratings. I don't know who I am, but I want to read the Harry Potter books. All right, I have a confession. Um, it's the day after the last clip. It is December 13th, um, and I read the entire first Harry Potter book today, which is why my bed is a dang mess, because I didn't leave it at all today. So, that's, yeah, I guess you're seeing this vlog. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I read the first Harry Potter book. I've read it three times, so I skipped a few places. I was like, I don't want to run. I've seen the first Harry Potter movie so many times. And, you know, of course, there's going to be scenes that are obviously changed. But then, obviously, they got the main scenes kept in the movie. And I've seen that movie so many times. I was like, I don't want to read this again. I don't want to read this again. I don't want to read this again. I don't want to see this ever again in my life unless I watch the movie. <laughs> That's the only time I'm going to see it. Um, so, yeah. I skipped a few parts, but... I think it's time to tell you guys my rating for the first book. It's going to be a four. I don't know what happened. Ah! Yeah, so I had a two the first time. I think I read it three times, but I can't remember when I read it the first time. So we'll just two. I only have it marked two times. I had a two star the first time and a one star the second time. And the third time it's a four. I don't know what happened. I don't, I don't understand. But here we are. So... I have downloaded the second book, which I've only read the first and the third book, so I'm very excited to get to the second book. Um, because one of the reasons I'm reading the series is for Harry and Jenny, because I actually want to see a relationship between them progress and not just be like, ha, Harry doesn't like Jenny this way until the sixth movie when they kiss. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I actually kind of like to see it progress, and so I'm very excited to start reading the books I haven't read. I'm not excited for the third book because I read it already, and 
it kind of gets repetitive, but however that is, whatever it is, I'm excited to start the second book. I might start it tomorrow. I might take a little break. I, I did read a whole book today. Very proud of myself. Very proud of myself. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'll see you guys for book two. <laughs> Now you can actually see me better. Um, it is the 14th of December, and I have started Chamber of Secrets. My Kindle says it's only 138 pages long, and I'm like, no, that's not right. Um, but I want chapter three. The reason I'm here is because I want to show you guys these covers. These are my favorite covers of this entire series. I don't know if they're just the Kindle versions or what, but look at these covers. Look at them. Not this isn't it, but like look at those covers. Aren't these just stunning? I think they're so pretty. I love them. I love them. And that's why I came here to say that I love these versions of the covers. They're my favorite out of all of them. I'm sorry, even that special edition one with the castles on the spines. Those covers, that's where they're at, and I love them. So, I finished the second Harry Potter book today. It is December 15th, and I just finished the second Harry Potter book. I started it yesterday, I got 50% into it yesterday, and I started. I finished it today. I read, a, I read another 50% of it today. I don't know what's happening to me, but somebody's stolen my soul, and... How, it won't, they won't give it back. They won't give it back until I read the Harry Potter books. Oh my god, my phone is so loud when it buzzes. That was probably my dad. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Um, I enjoyed it more than I did the first book. But that's probably because I haven't read the second book three times over. Um, this is my first time reading the second book and I really enjoyed it. I'm not excited to read the third book because I've read it before. Um, and even though it's my favorite Harry Potter movie, when I rewatched the Harry Potter movies last week, I did skip over some of the third movie because it's just kind of repetitive because they're doing, there's like time turners. Um, so not super excited to read that book, but I am going to read it anyways, and um, I'm almost at the fourth book, and I just started rereading this on Sunday, it is Tuesday, so oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, now I'm going to go and read. I might start the third book today, I probably will start it while I'm brushing my teeth, because I like to read while I brush my teeth, um, so I'll probably read the first chapter of it tonight. Like, at the least, I'll read the first chapter, but I don't know how far I'll get into it. Definitely not going to get 50%, because, woo, I gotta sell my role, because I don't want to get enough reading stuff, but I'm not going to get a reset while I'm reading Harry Potter, but I might get a reset for the third book, and I might just have to push through it, because I'm not excited to read for a break, but you know, you know how it is. Alright, I'm going to go and read. So, just reading this book, and I'm on page 212, right, and I'm just... <laughs> Harry's mad at Sirius, and I'm like, no, be mad at Sirius, Harry. He didn't do anything. Don't do anything to him. He's an innocent little child, and I love Sirius. Don't touch him, Harry. Don't touch him. So, it's December 17th, and I have finished the third Harry Potter book. Look at me. Y'all think I can do it? Do you guys think I can finish every single Harry Potter book before December's over? Because, like... That wasn't my plan, but now I kind of want to see if I can do it. <laughs> but yeah, I finished the third Harry Potter book. I'm giving it three stars because out of the f all out of all the ones I've read, it would be the second, the first, and then the third. Um, the movie third one has a lot more that takes place back in time than the book does, which I'm very glad because I did not want to have to read everything over again. Um, but serious. Sirius makes the series. He makes the books. Sirius, my baby. I love you, Sirius. I love him so, so much. Actually, hold on. Okay, so I have been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios. I went in 2015. I went in November 2014 and April 2015. Maybe it was November 2015 and April of 2016. But I have gone. Here's a picture of me there. Um, actually, I have quite a few photos. But, while I was there, I got a Gryffindor, um, lanyard, even though I'm Hufflepuff, 
no matter how many times I'm like, I don't want to be a Hufflepuff. Every time I take the test, even when I was forced to take it in seventh grade in the class of reading Harry Potter books and I didn't want to, I am a, I, I'm, I'm a full on Hufflepuff. Um, but I didn't want to be. And so I have a Gryffindor lanyard, but I actually got two wands while I was there. I got one in April and one when I first went. And, oh, I didn't know I had Jenny's. I did not know I had Jenny's. I knew I had... <laughs> I did not know that I had gotten Jenny's wand. Okay, I mean, I am reading the series for Harry and Jenny, so I guess it makes sense that I would have Jenny's, like, younger me predicted that I would. <laughs> I would, uh... We reading all the books because I wanted to see Jenny and Harry's relationship, but I have serious blacks if it'll focus. And this is actually an interactive wand. Um, but I freaking love Sirius so much because this is the first wand I got was in was uh, Sirius's, and look how cool this is! Can you guys see it? I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it. It's got like all these engravings on it and then here are like runes or something. Sorry, I guess my keeper side is coming out. But like look at this. Yes, this is an interactive wand. Um, but this is Sirius's wand. And Sirius has always been my favorite character. When I first went to uh, Harry Potter World, I got a Sirius wand because that's how much I love Sirius. So I have proved to you guys I've always loved the movies. I've seen the first movie a hundred times. My mom always falls asleep during it. But... I've always loved the movies, and I've never liked the books until this vlog. Until now. I don't understand it, but if there's one thing that has been consistent, it is my love for Sirius whenever he's on the page. Boy, baby, I'm smiling. I'm so happy that he's on page. Um, yeah, and I have the map still, uh, but <laughs> I thought I would show you guys that. Um... There's people who went all out and get robes there. I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah. So these are my two wands. And um, anyway, I finished the third book today. Tomorrow I'm going to be starting the fourth book, Goblet of Fire, which looks to be the biggest book. But I'm so excited because I read the first book three times. Now I've read the second book. I mean, I've read the I said, second book one time. I've read the third book twice. And I'm so freaking excited to get onto the fourth book and up because I've never read a single one of those books. So, so freaking pumped. Very, very excited. But I'm going to put these back in my closet where I don't ever open the door for. Because um, I wear the same shirts every single day of the week. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so I did end up starting uh, the fourth Harry Potter last night. But I didn't even get to the first chapter. Um, it is the 18th of December. I am 10% uh, into it. I would tell you a page number, but Kendall is saying this book's only 298 pages long, which I know for sure ain't right because Goodreads says it's 780 something. My God, that's a big book. Um, but. I'm kind of bored. I'm not super entertained right now. But the reason I popped in here is because I want to tell you guys. Because I wanted to mention this yesterday when I finished uh, book three. But I completely forgot. How are these kids not fat? I'm sorry. How are these kids not fat? Because, oh my god, do they only eat food. Like, all they ever do is eat. How are these kids not fat? Please, somebody explain that to me. Because it was Harry's birthday, and uh, Dudley, is on, Dudley is on a diet in this book, and they mentioned it. And I'm thinking, Harry, you should probably go on a diet, considering the fact that all you ever eat is junk food. That's all you ever eat, okay? How are you not fat? <laughs> Um, but then he got, like, three cakes, or four cakes on his birthday, I think it was three, he got one from Hermione, Ron, and Sirius for sure, I don't remember if Hagrid sent him one, but he, he had three cakes for his birthday, three cakes, okay, even if they're just this big, that's a lot of cake, how is he not fat, how is he not fat, how are these kids not fat, somebody please explain it to me, I am wondering, because like, yeah, he plays Quidditch, but 
Quidditch isn't a very demanding sport when it comes to your waistline. Like, your arms and legs are probably the only thing that are getting a workout, and by then, it's probably not by much. You're just gripping a... Uh, you're gripping a... It's like you're riding... It's like you're playing a game on your couch, but you're flying around and you gotta reach for a ball. Like, that's kind of what it is. He's a seeker, too. All he's gotta do is, like, duck... Um bludgers and catch a snitch while other people have to hit them so at least they're getting some arm strength in but he isn't and he's just eating sitting on a broom flying around yeah the school's big but like come on how are they not fat hi everyone it is now december 24th so happy late christmas to y'all but to me it's christmas eve um and earlier today i finished the fourth harry potter book um which is the goblet of fire and i gave it three out of a five stars so yeah i i found this one really boring like even after 50%, I was still really bored and I was very disappointed when it came to the task scenes. I thought those were going to be a lot more entertaining and a lot more eventful, but I found the movie version to be a lot more entertaining and eventful and I just, I didn't know they had changed so much when it came to book to movie for the movie. I mean, it makes sense because book was so boring when it came to the task. Like, that's like the best part of the book I thought it was gonna be. No, no it wasn't. Um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty boring. Um, I liked that there was so much serious in the fourth book. Uh, it sounds like I'm saying this book was so serious. Uh, no. <laughs> I liked that there was so much of serious in this book because I do really, really love serious, though he dies in the fifth book and it's all Harry's fault. I mean, at least it is in the movie. He might it might not actually be his fault in the book, um, but I just can't imagine the movie changing so much. Granted, they did make the fourth movie entertaining, so no, I, I guess I could see it. So I'll have to see if it actually does end up being Harry's fault that Sirius is dead. But um, in the movies, it is his fault. You can't tell me it's not his fault because it is his fault. Why didn't he just call Sirius up? I know they're wizards, but even wizards have something quicker than owl mail. That's just what they prefer. They prefer the mail. Like, uh, humans don't prefer the mail, yet they still have it. <sighs> Sorry, I haven't even finished this book yet, so I don't even know if he dies, but I assume he dies because they killed him off in the movie. So, like, why would they not kill him off in the book? Um, but yes, I did try and film this earlier, but I didn't know if I was going to start reading the fifth book, but I did start reading the fifth book. I'm only 8% I'm only into it, um, so I'm not that bored into it. Uh, but I did start it, um, and I, I'm a little bored at the beginning, but I, I wanted to hop on and say that Caps Lock is already starting, and I've heard that, because I had, there was a video recommended me on YouTube about Caps Lock Harry, and I wanted to watch it, but then it was based on the fifth book, and I was like, I'm gonna hold off, um, and it just started, like, Caps Lock Harry was introduced, and I'm so excited for him, like, he got like, he was like yelling at them, and I was like, yes, 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 Caps Lock Harry, my favorite. I don't know what it is, but when people get mad at other people, it is like, I love it. Like when my mom, hi mom. Like when my mom yells about other people, it makes me so joyful. Um, so I'm very excited about Caps Lock Harry. Apparently people don't like him. I like him already, and I just started the book, so. End of the day, I will pick back up, maybe when something happens. I've heard this, like, the fifth book is, like, a lot of people's least favorite, so, because they say it's boring, but can it be more boring than the fourth book? I guess we'll find out. Uh, if we have more Caps Lock Harry, which I know we do, then I think it's going to be better than the fourth book, because it's already better than the fourth book. Though so it did start off boring, but Caps Lock Harry, guys. Angry Harry, heartbroken Harry, scared Harry. I love him. I like him yelling at other people. So I'm excited.
Okay, so it is the 27th of December. I am 30% 30, 30 into the fifth Harry Potter book, and I'm really, really enjoying it because Harry is just snapping at every single person. I'm like, yes, babe, do it. Like, get mad at them. Yes. I'm very much so happy that Harry is wanting to kill people. It is making my little heart so happy. Um, and, you know, you think that sounds weird, but hold up, because I saw, <laughs> I saw somewhere that apparently, um, like, this one person wished that in the movies they had made it to where Umbridge, like, threatened and, like, tortured Harry more to, like, learn about, like, the order, you know? Um, and I was like, holy crap, she does that? Like, now I really want to see what you mean by how far she goes when she tortures him. Because I want to read that. I want to see it so much. It makes my little heart so happy. There's definitely something seriously wrong with me. The fact that I just said that sentence when we're talking about torture, um, of a child nonetheless, but... <laughs> I really want to get there, and so I'm very excited to continue with this book. Like, I'm really loving it, and The Fifth is, like, one of my favorite movies, so very excited, and I just, I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for that part. I can't wait for there to be torture. <laughs> it is December 29th. I am... 82% into the fifth Harry Potter book, and oh my god, guys, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, and the way it was written, wait, I'm like not spoiling it, I, I'm, this is like a spoilerly vlog of me reading every single Harry Potter book, so, like, he just had the thing where he saw Sirius, and oh my god, it was written so freaking well, like, it was so well done, and oh my god, like, I love Sirius, but Sirius is gonna die, right? Because he does die, right? Because that's, like, a big plot point. I don't think the movie would make that up. Uh, so, like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. Like, I love Sirius, and I don't want him to die. But I know he does, and I just, I can't, I can't, I can't wait. And then, then if what I heard was true, that Umbridge tortures Harry more than he did in the movie, then, like, I'm almost there, too! <laughs> I guess that me and this other person who said that Umbridge tortured Harry have a different idea of what the word torture means because that was so disappointing. Like, she didn't even do anything. <laughs> okay, so it is 13 past 11 on the 29th, and I finished the fifth Harry Potter book. I stayed up to finish it, even though I was supposed to be in bed 30 minutes ago. Oops. Um, yeah, I stayed up late to finish it, and it was amazing, and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. It was so good. I was bored at the beginning, but I think if I went back and, like, reread it... I wouldn't be bored. I think I was just like, you know, I had read four Harry Potter books in one month, like in two weeks too, so I was kind of bored, right? But I loved, 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 loved this fifth book. When Sirius died, well, I was like, Sirius, you die, don't you? Like, where are you going to die? Like, come on, don't like, like, don't prolong it. And then he died. I didn't like really cry. But then when Harry was yelling at Dumbledore, I was, like, tearing up, and I was about to cry so much while brushing my teeth. I was like, oh. Um, I did think there was going to be more Caps Lock Harry in this book. Is it the next book where we get more Caps Lock Harry? Was this all we got for Caps Lock Harry? Because if it is, why do you guys complain over every single thing in the world? Because he didn't even use Caps Lock that much. Like, he wasn't yelling that loud that often so like calm down okay get your panties out of your twist because it's not that big of a deal like i i was a little disappointed when it came to cap lock harry and umbridge torturing harry um but okay 
okay fine whatever so yes i am going to start the sixth book tomorrow this is my least favorite kindle cover Ooh, it's not focused at all this is my least favorite Kindle cover. Starting it tomorrow. It's my least favorite cover. But this is like so short. Like the fifth Harry Potter book, I think is like 880 pages. Dude, how fast did I read that book? But this is how fast I read that book. Like, I know I read it quick. And I'm just like, okay. But I love that book. It was amazing. And I can't wait to get to the sixth book because Ginny and Harry, they find, like, like, I read, I started this series to see the relationship, and I haven't seen it. So, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. But now I'm gonna go to bed. So, yeah. It is the 30th of December, and I started Half-Blood Prince today. I got 25% into it. So, um, roughly, how many pages did I read? Hold on, let me do some quick math, okay? I've read 163. I did not read 163. No. No, I did not read 163 pages today. I didn't even spend much time on it at all. No. Um, that's not, that's, that's how math works, but that's not right. Um, anyway, so apparently I did that. I don't know how I did that, because I didn't, I barely touched it today, but okay. Um, I just want to mention, because I was falling asleep last night, and I forgot that, I now, like, in the movies, they may look like it's Harry's fault, but in the books, it's not Harry's fault that Sirius got murdered, um, and died. And also, um, oh, yes, I don't like when the books start off with characters who are not, uh, like, Harry. Like, I didn't like the first two chapters of this book, it's because they weren't Harry, and I don't, I don't care, okay? Like, I, I'm trying to fix, I just noticed how bad my posture was. Uh, like, I don't care, so, yeah. <laughs> um so yeah I didn't I don't I'm not enjoying the book so far and that's one reason why I don't believe I read a hundred and what was it what was it, was it 60, what was it I don't know but I don't think I read that many no I couldn't have I could not have is it really all I'm gonna have to make sure I'm gonna double check because I do not believe that at all I promise you I have other clothes, okay? I know you, I know I never wear them, but I have, like, look, okay, look. There's a shirt right there, and a shirt right there. I just never wear them, okay? But I have them. Anyway, I hopped under to say I'm 43% I'm I'm into this book. Holy crap. This is going quick. And, um, well, Harry's jealous that Jenny's kissing Dean now. And, like... Great! I love to see it, but also, like, it just sprung out of nowhere, and it just, that's not what I wanted. I read the books to see a more progression, and I, 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 I didn't, I don't get, I don't have that. <sighs> Sad. But, I do like that he's jealous, and that's very entertaining for me that he's jealous. I am very, very enjoying that. Um, it is December 31st, by the way, so I've only been reading this book for two days, and I'm 50%. <laughs> Lord, help me. What is going on? I don't know. Like, like, why am I reading this book so quick? Like, did something happen that I just, like, started intaking and, like, ingesting stuff, like, quicker into my body, like, like a, like a snake or something? What is happening? I don't know, but I'm reading very quickly. If only... If only I could read actual books that are physical and not Kindle. If only I could do that. If only. It is January 1st, and guess who's finishing Harry Potter today? The sixth one. Not the whole series, but the sixth one. I am, okay? I, they just, Harry just kissed Ginny, and like, I was brushing my teeth like I normally do, reading Harry Potter in the morning, and then he just like kissed her out, I gagged on my teeth, like, oh my god, that came out way too fast, I was like, what the heck? What? What? Yeah, I had to take a break for a second. I was brushing my teeth and I, I, I choked on my toothpaste. I was so surprised. I was like, oh my god, Harry. <laughs> Whoa. Um, but that's, I'm finishing this book today. So that's exciting. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. We started off strong. <laughs> well, I finished it. Uh, it's the first. I just finished it. I gotta go work out. Um, But I don't know how to rate this. I don't know how to feel. I don't. 
Harry and Ginny's romance is so unsatisfying. Like, they're not, now they're not together? What the heck? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, I finished it. I have no idea what to rate it. Like, do I give it a four? Because I read it really quickly, and I did enjoy a lot of it. I just didn't enjoy the pensive parts, and I did not like the ending. That I thought the funeral was really boring. So, is it a four? Like, I don't... I guess I'll give it a four. I don't know. Um, I did like how Harry was jealous about Ginny the entire book. I thought that was fun. But, like... Right there, guys. Look at that. Right there. That's the seventh one. I'm on the seventh one. I don't know if I, I'm not going to start it tonight. I don't actually. I'll start it tonight when I brush my teeth, probably. But I'm going to go work out and then I'm going to uh, do some writing stuff and like that. So, yeah. But I finished it. I don't know how to feel. I mean, like, I just feel like empty. And I don't, like, I'm not sad that Dumbledore died. I knew he died. The sixth movie is my my least favorite movie. But, and I like the book a lot more than I liked the movie. Because uh, I liked a lot of points in this book. But I don't know how to feel about it. It's hard to explain. I'm going to go work out. I got a new workout schedule to try today. And I'm so excited. So, I'm going to go work out. Have a good time. Listen to Trey Lewis's song about Dallas and Austin and Boston. It's such a great song, guys. Like, it's an amazing song. I'm going to go listen to that and work out and have a good time. And I will tell y'all later. But I will definitely start the last book today while I brush my teeth tonight. I will start it. I just probably won't update you guys because, well, yeah. Okay. It is the 3rd of January? It is the 3rd. No. It is the 3rd. Wait. Okay. Well, it's the 3rd of January, um, and I'm 20% into the 7th Harry Potter book. My god, I feel like I should be so much not as far as that. Um, but I want to ask you guys, because I keep forgetting to put this in the vlog, how is Harry a half-blood? Because shouldn't he be pure-blood? Because his mother was a witch, and his father was a wizard. So why is he a half-blood? Is he a half-blood because his mother was a muggle-born and his dad was a pure-blood, therefore he is half-blood? Can somebody tell me why he's not a whole, like, a pure-blooded person? Because that's how it works, isn't it? You have one person who is a witch, one person who is a wizard, one plus one equals two, okay? They go together. So why is he a half-blood? Can somebody please explain that to me? Really, I would greatly, deeply appreciate it if I could get some explanation on that because I really just don't understand. 42% um, into Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. God, I forgot the name. It is the... The fifth? It's the 5th of January, and I'm just, I'm just, just reading this, I'm just reading it, I'm not enjoying it, but I'm reading it, so I can finish up and actually start some books that are actually on my TBR for January, but I'm here because, you know, I get why they have to wear the locket for the book, it's so that they, like, get angry and that, Ron leaves. Like, I get why they need to wear the thing. And Harry and Hermione are like, well, we can't just, like, leave it in the tent because that would leave it unprotected. But, like, Harry, Hagrid gave you, like, a pouch to put stuff in that only the person who put it in the pouch can get it back out. Okay, so if you put the Horcrux in the pouch, Harry, nobody except you would be able to get it. <laughs> Logically, that is a good idea. Logically, you put the Horcrux in the pouch, therefore only Harry can get it, and you can just wear the pouch around your neck, and you don't have all this anger and all of that. But for plot, you, you forget about the pouch for the plot. And it's, 
Ah, you're just... Mm. Anyway, I wanted to hop on here and yell with you guys about that because I am remembering the pouch. It seems I'm the only one who remembers the pouch. Okay, see, prime example. I'm 46% into this book and Harry asked, where'd you put the Horcrux? And Hermione says, in my bag. Why has it not been in the bag the entire time? Why? Like, Harry has a bag that if you put stuff in it, only Harry can get it out. Therefore, it is probably the safest place to put the Horcrux. <laughs> it just... Come on, let's be let's all be logical here. It works. It, it works. Okay, it's been like two minutes since I last updated you. I am forty eight percent. Was I forty six last time? I don't know. But they just read the chapter in Rita, 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 in Rita Skitter, whatever her name is. They just read the chapter in her book about Grindelwald, and there was a letter that Dumbledore wrote, and they're like. You heard that, blah, blah, blah. Like, mm, you don't have any proof that he actually wrote that letter. Like, he could have not even written that letter, and Rudy Skidder could have just made it up. So, like, I thought these people were smart. They're not doing smart things. Ah, like, seriously, you don't can't trust everything you read especially like in biographies most of the time you probably do believe the thing but in this specific case they know Rita Skeeter is a cash person she's all about the money so of course like why would you believe her why would you believe her that's right you wouldn't yet these smart wizards are and it's so annoying so very annoying Dobby died Dobby's dead. I never, I don't think I've ever cried when Dobby died in the movies. But I'm crying when he died in the book. And that's mo that's definitely, definitely, definitely to the fact that we got more Dobby in the series than we did in the movies. Uh, so, there we go. Yeah. Dobby died. <laughs> Dobby is dead. Um, okay. I want to know what they're going to do with Creature now. Like, what happens with the creature? That You better answer that, because I want to know. It's the same day as the last time I made it, y'all. I'm 73% of this book. I think it's actually getting good now, because I don't want to sleep. I want to read. I want to read, 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 because we're going back to Hogwarts, baby. And what have we learned? Hogwarts is my favorite area of these books to take place so also i want to reread the fifth harry potter uh god help me <laughs> okay it's 11 o'clock i'm going to bed good night um i might finish this harry potter book tomorrow that's a lot i need to read but i mean it's definitely doable we're just gonna have to see i don't know but i want to so, it is the 7th of January. I am 80% into the 7th Harry Potter book. I'm going to finish it today. I have a chemistry test, though, so, like, that's my priority. But I will be finishing the book today, so I will update you guys later what I'm reading. It's going to happen. I'm finishing it today. Woo! Hi, so it is the 7th still, same day as I updated you before, right? Same whatever day that was. And I am 91% into the book, which means I just finished reading Snape's Memories. First of all, 91%? Like, dude, like so much still has to happen, right? I don't know, it seems ridiculous. Anyway, so yeah, I am 91% into this book. And I just read Snape's Memories, and I would have to say that that was my favorite part of the entire book. I just, I loved him so much. I liked seeing younger Snape, Lily, and James. I really enjoyed seeing that. Um, and I'm enjoying the book a lot more now that we're back at Hogwarts. 
It just took a long time to get to Hogwarts, but I'm enjoying it now that we're back at Hogwarts, though. We got to get to Hog we got to Hogwarts at the end of the book. So, ugh, that sucks. Anyway, I'm 91% of the book. Oh my god. Like, I don't have that much left, and I feel like so much still needs to happen, but I guess we'll see. Uh, do you guys have any other series you would like to see me do reading vlogs? Plural. I would do more than just one because this is probably going to be a super long vlog. But do you guys have any other book series you'd like to see me like read for the first time? I do want to do one for Alex Ryder. I want to get like a whole box set and read them. Uh, so I do want to read Alex Ryder. So if you guys want to see that, subscribe. But like tell me if you guys have any other ones you'd like to see me read and stuff like that. Um, I might do one for the Witcher series. I don't know yet, but... There we go. Uh, tell me if you guys have any series you would like to see me read and you think I would enjoy. Anyway, so I'm going to take a shower because I just worked out uh, an hour ago, actually, and I did chores. But I worked out, and now I need a shower, and then I'm going to finish the book. I'm going to finish the book. Wow. Wow. I can't believe I've almost finished the series. Like, I can't. I can't believe that. Okay. Um, I know Harry doesn't die. I know that. But... It's still so sad. Like, this line is absolutely gorgeous. And it just makes me so, like, I'm about to cry. <clears throat> Let me try and read it to you guys. <laughs> through the tears that are coming through my, um, coming through my eyes. <clears throat> it was not, after all, so easy to die. Every second he breathed, the smell of the grass, the cool air on his face was so precious. To think that people had years and years time to waste, so much time and dragged, and he was clinging to each second. You know, say what you want about J.K. Rowling, but my god, can she write some phenomenal lines? Like, it's amazing. Just phenomenal. Just, just so good. I know he doesn't die, but it's still... I'm still gonna cry. <laughs> I didn't know if it would happen. I didn't know if I would cry. But I am. I'm I'm like bawling. Oh my god. <laughs> ah Okay. I want chapter 36, the last chapter. It's a bittersweet moment. This is the last chapter before the epilogue of the final book. So, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Like, just like a couple days ago, I was at the last chapter of the final book. I mean, at the sixth book. And I'm at the final book. Like, time flies, doesn't it? Well, at least we know what happened to Creature. Well... We don't know what happens to Creature, but he's at Hogwarts now, so. Okay, here it goes. Ah! Oh my god! 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 I'm here! I made it! Oh my god! It hasn't even been a month since I started the first book, and yet, here I am! Oh no! Guys! I wish the shelf was just like one hitch lower so I didn't have this much space above me, but guys! Guess what? Guess what? I did it. I did it. It took me two freaking hours. Two hours to read the last two chapters. Yee! Uh, but I did it. I finished the entire series. I feel empty. <laughs> but I did it. I have read every single Harry Potter book in under a month. That was not the goal. That was not the plan. That was not the way this was supposed to go. But that's the way it went. And here we are. Um, when did I finish the first book? Okay, so I finished the first book December 13th, which means I started December 13th, and it is January 7th, which means I read this, I read the entire series in under a month. 
oh, uh, yeah, my, my plan wasn't to read the first five in December. Um, that really wasn't what I was going for, but that's what happened. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it. I finished, I finished the Harry Potter books. And I'm giving the seventh one a three star. I am disappointed. Uh, and I really feel bad about it because the ending was really good. Like when Harry was like walking in a circle just over and over. They walked in a circle, him and Voldemort. Like I was like, I really liked that and how he was like, just be human for once, Tom, or whatever. I really, really liked that part. Um... And I really liked the fight, and I liked that. I liked when he saw his parents. I cried. Uh, like, I liked that. But my god, was this book so boring before that. Like, uh, before, yeah. So, the entirety of this book, pretty much, like, the first 70% of this book was really, really boring. Uh, but then the last 30% was really good. So... It's gonna, it's just gonna get a three star. My favorite book of the entire series is still the fifth one. I promise y'all, it's still the fifth one. Don't worry. I'm not back down on that. Um, so, yeah. Let me, I'm gonna rate them. I'm gonna rate them. I'm gonna put them in a little ranking for you guys in case you wanted to know. So, here we go. Okay, so, let's rank them. Uh, we're gonna go from seventh place to first place, though you already know my first place. Uh, in seventh place, we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. Yeah, I just talked about this one. I was bored. Uh, and then we have in sixth place, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. My second favorite movie is in second to last place when it comes to the books. I'm sorry. I feel like I would have enjoyed this a lot more if I hadn't read it before, but I remembered a lot of this book when I was rereading it uh, in December, so I just didn't enjoy it as much. Uh, then we have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the fourth book. Uh, so yeah, seven, three, four. And then uh, this one just was disappointing. Yeah, I gave it three stars though, I believe. So it wasn't, yeah. Just We're just ranking my three stars and which one has a higher three, I guess. Uh, and then we have, going in, the four stars. We're gonna put Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Harry, that gets fourth place, baby. Okay. Um, I've already reread this one too, so there you go. And then we have Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. I just didn't. I was the only part I was really bored of this book was when it came to the pensive and those things. I didn't really like going to the cave and stuff like that. Um, so that was kind of what I was really bored. But you know what? Uh, it gets. It gets third place, so yes, okay, not that bad. It's my least favorite movie, so very, very high step up on the places, isn't it? All right, and then in second place, we have Chamber of Secrets. This is one of my favorite movies. I really like this movie, uh, and I really enjoy the book, too. I really like the Valentine's thing. I don't think I mentioned that uh, when I was reading the book, but I really like the Valentine's Day in this book. It's beautiful. It is right here in my mind. Very, very strong. Um, and then, of course, in first place, you have the only one of these books that I gave five stars, and that is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, the best book in the series. Congrats, Sirius. You have won it all. Um, yeah, this is my favorite book. And dude, I promise y'all, y'all, you are slacking on this book when you don't like it. This is the best book. Like, oh, Love it so freaking much. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun. I did not know when I started this that I was going to end up loving the Harry Potter books as much as I did. Like, I came into this thinking that I was going to dislike the books. Like, I thought I was going to read the first book and not like it and then decide and realize that, nah, just, you're never going to enjoy the Harry Potter books. But, no. I, I adore. I adore the Harry Potter books now. They're so freaking great and I love them. So thank you all for joining me on this journey. I apologize for the length of this video. I'm not excited to edit it but I kind of also am because I get to go back through and see my experience. And yeah, uh, thank you guys so much. If you guys have read the Harry Potter series, which one is your favorite? I know the fifth one is uh, not a lot of people's favorite, and I know a lot of people like the sixth one. So, what are which one's are your guys' favorite? You guys know mine. It's the fifth one. I love it so, so much. Anyway, I'm going to go love y'all, and I hope to see you guys all next Monday for another video. And hey, do not forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everyone.